certain day that you're going to, you know, if your job takes three days, they're going to give you a timeline. Here's the three days for you to come in and get it done. If, for instance, the electrician's not done and he's holding you up, they don't care. You're committed to that time frame, and if you don't get it done, then X number of dollars come off. He says, it can really be a fight to get money out of them. If uh, you do not com you do not complete on the day assigned, it is, even if it's not your fault. Right. I love this stipple book. Some of the video I got yesterday was upside down. Was it really? Yeah. Sometimes, you know, I, I don't know how I managed to do that, but you know, I just don't want to drag my other camera up here. I mean, it's that much more we got to take down. Yeah, really. No. I mean, it's on a tripod and I'd have to plug everything in. I mean, you know, uh, these iPhones, you know, they, they actually do pretty good when you got them on 60 frames per second. It's just going to be, you know, it's just going to be a short video. I mean, I want to do a, uh, a full-fledged uh, interview type deal. But I want to do it at a, uh, a sit-down place, you know, somewhere to, you know, get a coffee, you know, in that kind of atmosphere. Right. You know, maybe at, you know, an artist's venue, bistro, gallery, uh, or um, cafe kind of thing. You know, just have a normal conversation, you know, with, you know, with other artists and, well, who's that comedian now that they do that driving around thing where he interviews different comedians while they drive around? Yeah. Well, there's a photographer that does that too. And the guy is really quite good. And I just saw his last interview with uh, another photographer. You know, that was really impressive. I can't remember his name, um, but I mean, I came up with this, you know, this idea a long time ago, you know, when I was doing my DVDs and stuff, and, you know, I just didn't have time to set it up, you know, and Pat Janino, I mean, he was doing his DVD thing. You know, and it, he he did such a great job with it. Mm. You know, and then he stopped. You know, and I and I pretty much understand why he did. You know, it's because selling DVDs, there's no money in it. Right. You know, I mean, well, you might sell if you're lucky, you might sell five to ten a month. You know, which makes it more of a pain in the ass than it does anything else. Right. You know, and, um, but I've been getting a lot of calls for, you know, people wanting to buy them again. You know, and, uh, but the thing is with me, I avoid a middleman. You know, I mean, there is none. I, mean, I don't pay anybody to produce them or edit them. I do it all myself. And right. man, it takes, you know, for an hour long DVD, you'll have 20 hours of editing. Right. You know, and sh 
Whew, man, that'll burn you out quick. All right, you ready for the quick how-to video? Yeah. All right, here we go. Hey, I'm Eric, and we're here doing a little bit of uh, metal paint on top of this, this molding here. So what we're doing is a really quick two-part process. We started out with a white molding. We're running a little bit of brown on there. As you can see, it's not perfect. We're not looking for perfect coverage. Uh, one of the things that people fight with is with metallics is they fight the very nature of the metallic. Uh, they think that, you know, slapping it on that they'll get this perfect mirror metal finish, but that's not really the way that metallic paints work. We've, what we found is the best way to do it for a quick one-two coverage is I'm just taking a really quick chip brush here. I'm just running it through. Now, if I left it like this, by the time this dries, it's just gonna be full of brush marks. So what we're gonna do is, once we get that on there, is we're gonna take just a little stipple brush. We're just gonna run our little stipple brush right over the metallic. Now, it's not 100% opaque. We probably have about 70% opacity, just a hair of that brown showing through. But what we're ending up with is a little bit more of a stippled finish from the ground. It looks more like a, uh, uh, a leaf type of, type of finish and with just one pass around the room we have this really elegant metal molding feature. So it's one of those bada bing bada boom two passes around the room looks great high dollar feature high dollar finish that's just one two around the room just by a simple trick of using a little stipple brush. Cool. How was that? Works for me.